Right, we've got a level up that I intend to bloody well take. Ha, oh, my lord. That was a lot of talking. I do apologize. It's probably going to happen whenever we pick up a new character, but it'll typically, there'll be a glut of learning about them. And then there'll be more action. And certainly as I get more com comfortable with the game, there'll be less pausing as well in battles. All right. Fatebinder attributes. With each level, you can increase one of your character's attributes. Might, finesse, quickness, wit, vitality, or resolve. Each of these attributes provides benefits to your character as well as increases one or more skills. Increasing attributes costs one point until the attribute score reaches 19. To raise an attribute from 19 to 20 requires two points. Very well. So first, it will be you. Uh, do you have a point to spend? Or No, it's only, only Avak has got a point to spend, I believe, yeah. All right, then. Resolve to turn's character ability to endure a physical and mental challenge. Resolve is a primary attribute used to derive the endurance, will, and magical defense. It also increases the duration of afflictions. Finesse, the attribute describes the character's physical and mental precision. Finesse is used to determine the accuracy of attacks. Um, wits. Quickness. I mean, I'm liking his quickness, honestly. But I'm going to go with finesse for now. There we go. Save. Yes. And I now get a point. Ah, I prove. Okay, so we've got leadership, defense, power, agility, range, magic. Uh, stance, guard, requirements. Requires one talent point spent in the defense tree. Enter a defensive stance, gaining a bonus to armor. Am I not going to get any kind of... Oh man, I don't get any, any info on this. Number of points spent in the leadership tree. Uh, it appears that I can't spend points on those. So I've only got defense, power, agility, range of magic. Hmm. I wonder when we can pick up... Oh, requirement level three. Very well, very well, that's fine. So defense. Shield mastery. Increase the defensive benefits from shields. We're going to your wield, so that doesn't seem sensible. Shield slam uh, also doesn't seem sensible. Staggering force causes thrust to interrupt the target, delaying the next attack. Now that seems good because we can use it because we're quick. I have noticed that I can pull off my thrust before an enemy can pull off their attacks, their, their like abilities. I wonder if this would stop them from being able to use an ability, like it would straight up stop it. It's a weak interrupt though. Um, under power, we've got cleave, a sweeping... Cone attack that hits multiple nearby enemies. Focus strike adds armor penetration to the thrust ability and increases its accuracy. And palm strike. Perform a powerful palm strike to the target's chest, interrupting them, pushing them back, and silencing them from spell casting. Now, spell casting. It was triggering whenever someone did something like shield bash. Hmm. Recovery, interrupt average, and uh, it, it only works on an art. I mean, that makes sense. Plus six armor penetration, plus 15 accuracy. Attack skills, dual wield. Valid weapon, dual wield, thrown weapons, one hand, okay. Armor penetration, five. Ah, uh, that's not a bad one. It's not a bad one. Let's have a look at these ones. Okay, so we've got flurry of blows. Unleash a double attack on your target. We've already got... Oh, faint. Um, we've got light foot, move faster in combat. Okay, we've also got sneak attack, requires one talent point. Ooh. I mean... I mean... Oh. Use parry instead of dodge for ranged attacks. That would actually be quite nice. Slice we've already got. Um, faint, blinded affliction. Uh... Adds a feint to your thrust ability, blinding your opponent as you strike them with your attack. Okay. Uh, when a spell is cast on a target and it's subordinate effect and the functions, it doesn't tell me what. Blind. Oh, accuracy reduced by 30. Okay. I think dual wielding is under the finesse tree. Um, there isn't a finesse tree that I can see, anyway. Uh, ranged. We've got escape as a rooting effect to the thrust ability. Thrust now also increases movement speed and breaks current engagements. Oh, that would actually be pretty good. Immune to engagement for two seconds. 
Rooted. Rooted targets cannot move, but can still attack and defend themselves. A lot of these things augment the thrust attack. I like that. I like having a basic a basic ability that just gets augmented depending on which skills you take. That's actually pretty cool. No star meta. Must be going to sleep. See you all later. Enjoy the rest of the stream. And careful with those spoilers, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the reminder for you there. Um, we've got hobble, target uh, your enemy's feet with a range attack. And poison dart. Throw a poison dart at an enemy. If it hits, the target receives a long-lasting corrosive poison affliction. Poisoned. It causes corrode damage over time. Uh, it takes a long while to recover. Foe target versus endurance. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Magic. Magic prodigy. Grants a bonus to law skill. Ooh. I mean, that would allow me to learn the other sigil as well. Arcane charge. Adds the spell breached affliction to thrust attacks. Also grants a bonus to magic skills for a short time after using thrust. Uh, fire frost shock and arcane armor reduced by five. And charge strike. Charge up your magic staff and release a powerful burst of energy that explodes in a small area around the target. I mean, you know, that's not terrible. It would depend if I had my staff up though. Okay, so the ones that I'm favoring is Magical Prodigy and Sneak Attack. Really, it comes down to that. Really, it comes down to that. Um, sneak Attack, I think, just makes a lot of sense, but I'm liking the idea that, that my character would have an extra 10 lore. That would give us a good bit of extra playing around with spells. So I'm, yeah, I'm going to grab that one. I'm going to grab one point in Magic there. Yes. All right. So with that as well, we should be able to go over here and now learn this. Scroll of le uh, Lesser Scroll of Reaching Grasp. This scroll contains a magical accent, which slightly increases the range of a spell. Learn. All right. So what, what sigils have we got? We've got accents down here. But we've got... Reaching grasp. We still don't have a different core, which is what we need. But oh, that being said, hmm. Actually, yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, okay, how about I grab this one and I just update, update it? There we go. Little target with a surge of greatness, granting them a bonus. Uh, okay, update. There's no reason not to do that one. Uh, there we go. I likes it. I likes it a lot. That's a better spell now. Hooray. It's not a big change, but it's a cool one, I think. You got it. Right. Let's have a quick chat. Oh, could I... C can Verse use that? Maybe Verse can, actually. It's a good point. Um, Wall skill is a 29. Um... Yeah. Oh, wow. That's actually really cool. Um, attack skills. Control Vigor determines the character's ability to draw and control spells that use the sigil of Vigor. Higher skill values increase the chance of critical hits. Uh, but what is your Control Vigor? You've got a nice high parry there. Yeah, you have no Control Vigor, so I guess it's not going to be as useful for you. But still, interesting. Uh, I still have skill points that I can spend on my character, really. Let me have a look. Uh, don't see it. Oh. Locking skill growth will prevent this character from gaining experience in this skill through normal gameplay interactions. That would probably be useful in that it would mean that my other skills would receive more, um, more skill. Uh, I would assume. I don't see any other points. Hmm. Oh well. Right. Let's have a quick look. chat, Aurora. Baitbinder, Aurora salutes as you approach. We are honoured by your presence. Need something? What's the situation here in Vendrian's well? The Oathbreakers hold the citadel at the heart of the valley. 
the one built around the base of the spire. Aurora points east toward the tower in the distance. The Matani River has been our largest headache during the siege. It's unsafe for armoured troops to ford. Save for at key locations, and the enemy knows this as well as we do. I know we'd be a lot farther along if the Scarlet Corlys used its alleged strength in numbers to ford the river themselves and overwhelm the enemy. Aurora looks at Verse with a disapproving glare. Uh, air, rather. As it is, we must take the valley slowly and advance the disfavoured bulwark, since that's where the real work gets done. Oh. Oh dear. Because all it takes is numbers to cross a river and a hail of arrows, if the disfavoured were quicker to act, maybe the Vendrian guard wouldn't be so tra uh, trained up to face us. Aurora is correct. The slow advance will win out. Verse has a point. There's been a lack of cooperation. If either of you were correct, the campaign would be over, and I wouldn't be here. Okay, fair enough. A fair point. The Legion is easier to gain... Uh, the Legion is eager to gain some perspective on our quarrels. Consequently, I retract my per previous remark. Really? Because I don't. Next time you say something, try to mean it. <laughs> uh, good old verse. Uh, how long have you been with us, David? Hello, um, Xanthrophile. Seven years, she pauses to count on her fingers. Two seasons, uh, may I have a handful of days? I trained at Fort Resolution a bit before the conquest. Compared to the commanders you find around camp or stationed at Iron Half, that makes me one of the young bloods. This has been a long and grueling campaign, but the end is in sight. We'll soon have the Oathbreakers back under control, and then we can rest, retrain, and even cycle our troops so we can see our families again. Hmm. What can you tell me of the Vendering Guard? They are la the last gasp of the younger realms. Among them are warriors that escaped the bastard city siege, a few refugees from other uh, victories, and a bunch of Vendrian locals with disillusions. Uh, sorry, delusions of independence. These southern wastrels cannot match our iron, nor the chorus numbers. What on uh, Teratus gave them the nerve to rise up and ask for a second helping of battle is anyone's guess. Seen anything interesting during the war? I once saw a forge-bound artisan set himself on fire. Uh, occupational hazard. That was an unpleasant day. The first of many, to be honest. I heard about the edict you proclaimed at the burning library, but thankfully I wasn't there. One fire was enough for me. She taps her gauntlet to the brassplate insulate. Have a pleasant siege, Fatebinder. I like Aurora. Sorry, I, I kind of like everyone, honestly. There's few right. people I don't like. Quiet right. down. Scouting mode, please, because I want to find all the secrets. Oh my god! Secrets. So many secrets. Cosma, you bloody coward. Scarlet Chorus as well, my lord. Don't think I've forgotten anything. Fatebinder, what an honor to have one of Tunon's court visit our humble uh, holdfast. Uh, need supplies? Person with energy, the merchant slams her palm down on top of the crate. If so, you've come to the right place. So, what'll be today? She spreads out a welcoming arm over her ways. Um, hmm. How straight? Well, this is a service posting. No profit up here in the pass. That's uh, Hachin's bronze orders. But when we march out of the valley, I'm back to my own schedule. And here's the hoping this year is a good one. The Overlord forbids the extortion of the pathways. Good thing, too, because in years past, I'd lose most of my profits to tolls. Couldn't turn a copper if I tried the whole long distance. I trust you've been granted proper stewardship of the goods you're peddling. I, uh, uh, where... You see, the merchant cranes her head to the side, scratching her neck. I think so. I've been handed these bits of script. She reaches across a stack of provisions to snatch a scroll case. But I'm not a woman of letters. Numbers are my strength, as you can well imagine. Let me see those. Certainly, good fate binder. She hands you the scroll case while wearing a quizzical expression. A cursory read indicates this merchant is granted the unlimited right to trade in a logistical capacity. While not supplying an active battle, she has the right to trade grain, copper, and olives anywhere in the tiers. Um... <laughs> Looks like you have a slight problem. I mean, 
I, wow. Uh, I mean, I could be a complete wastrel, I suppose. I'm not entirely sure I want to be, but... Um... Also, I just, I just, wow. Wow. Apparently, someone has named a, si uh, a Sims cat after me. A pink cat has been named after me. My lord. Uh, anyway, <laughs> sorry about the distraction, everyone. Uh, right. Well, where did you get these? Uh, Hachi and Bronze acquired these on my behalf. From Arkham Tunan's agents, I believe. Her expression shows deep concern. Do you see any issue? How much coffee has I got? Uh, I've only got a sip of coffee, so no. No, I don't. Ha! Saved by my lack of coffee! Well, naturally, she winks. Just because we fight dirty doesn't mean we trade dirty. Well, most of the time, at least. Nice try, everyone, but no. Demon Works, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime. Okay. Well, let's see what you have. Okay. Short bro, bronze great sword, Storm's Heart, Control Lightning, I mean, you know, really bad. Um, bronze Axe, I mean, you've got some other bits and bobs here. Scroll of. Oh, I wouldn't give. I've only got copper rings. Got camping supplies too, apparently, but uh, that's all. Uh, can, I, can I sell you random cabins that I've got? Because I would certainly like to. All quality levels. Common, fine. Oh, okay, that's quite cool. Well, poop. I kind of wouldn't mind selling this. Oh, wow. I mean, should I though? Yeah, I'm all about the 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 um all of, all about the dual wielding too. With that in mind, limitless of boundaries. This scroll contains a magical accent, which slightly increases the area spell effects. Uh, timeless form. This scroll contains a magical accent, which slightly increases the duration of a spell. I mean, that one wouldn't be too bad. Uh, the Scroll of Lightning Core. The scroll contains a magical core, which is used in spells. Channel Lightning. Oh my... I... I... Uh, look, okay. I didn't expect to be such a mage, but I am now. So we're just going to have to live with this. This is the way it's going to be, everyone. Thank you. Okay. Let's go ahead and quickly learn these. Lim limitless Boundaries. Lightning core and timeless form. Yoink! All right, now we've got some new cores. Also, need to select the core before proceeding. That's fine. Right, so a lightning core. Now expressions uh, create spells that affect distant targets. Okay, this is an expensive one. I love the way they form these. Electric Jolt. Stunned Affliction. Uh, parry and dodge reduced by 30. Stunned targets cannot move or attack. That is glorious. Um, foe. Area of effect. It only affects foes. That's glorious. It's actually really nice. Radius 1. Control Lightning. Law 50. Attack skills. Wow. Electrocute the target with a huge bolt of entwining lightning, dealing shock damage and stunning them. Uh, we could use this for a little bit of extra range. It's now law 40. What have we got here? Air of effect increase. Okay, let's turn this one off. Ah, Pope. That would have been nice for a while. We can go for the extra range, though. Uh, you can't have this even if I turn this off. Oh, no, you can. Hmm. Okay. I mean, this has a lore of 31 already, so. Yoink. There we go. Electric Jolt. Uh, and I can have 
a tiny, tiny baby one for you. Oh. There you go. It's a baby version. It's fine. When I've got enough lore, I'm going to increase them a lot. Oh, that was quite awesome. I like it. Okay, well, let's go down and have a look in here. What's what's going on then? The prisoner says his name's Tarkis and Demos. Drastus lets out a long sigh, tapping his gauntleted finger to his temple. And I don't think this is a complicated matter. He dies. His family's been a driving force in the v uh, Vendrian Guard. Killing him should demoralize whatever's left of the Tarkis clan. Or must be given a chance to find absolution in service of the Scarlet Chorus. The mage points a finger at his favorite officer. And you know full well this has always been our way. There's a chance to be a slave or soldier. Only then do we feed him to the pigs. We'd like to take prisoners, but you can't control them. You send these conscripts out on patrol and they never return. Defecting all over again. I can't let this nonsense strategy continue. Well, I insist this oathbreaker be taken to the Voices of Narat, leaving us at an impasse. Fortunately, we have a fate binder here to settle the matter for us. The charter turns to you, an expectant smile creeping across her face. So, what say you? What should become of this prisoner? One chance to surrender is enough. The Chorus should be allowed its chance to recruit new warriors. Um... Oh... See, would they would they necessarily fight their family? But if if I knew that they had already surrendered to the chorus once before and defected, then it would be a different matter. But as far as we know, they didn't. Thank you very much for the subscription, Malachi. My lord, fifteen months of tier three. My goodness, my night is going very well. All the better for your uh, generous, generous support. Uh, we're gonna go with the chorus. Gain favor with the Scarlet Cross and gain wrath with the disfavored. Okay, 19% there. This is the sort of nonsense that got us into this mess we're in now. If we keep showing these mongrels mercy, we'll, they'll just bite us time and time again. Well, that's not entirely true. Come on. Okay, well, that's fine. If it will calm your nerves, I assure you this one won't be put on the battlefield. The mate snaps her fingers loudly, gesturing for her gang to listen. Make sure the prisoner is taken straight to the voices of Narat. I mean, that will help. I won't keep you here any longer, Fatebinder. I know you have important business in the valley. Drastus salutes you, his iron gauntlet rapping against his breastplate. For the glory of Kairos. Okay. Oh, I was about to say, no, don't send me away. There's things I want to loot. Also, there we go. Right, uh, we could possibly talk with Mockingblaze a little bit more, maybe? Let's see. We sing the anthem of pain. Uh, okay. You have my thanks, Fightbinder. I must attend to the rest of my soldiers, though. All right, then. Let's continue hunting around for loot, such as this. This right here is loot. Go and collect the loot, unless it has been emptied. Oh, is it an empty case? Oh, yes, yes, that's, that's the sign that it's been emptied. Oh, wow. Much sadness there. Anything else around here? I really want to be up there. Oh, it's this item right there that I know there is something. Drastus says you're good to pass. Kyra should not have accepted the Vendrian surrender. I mean, any anyone wiggling on these these? No, they're not. Oh well. I mean, you have to you have to check. They might have been wiggling. Is there anything more that we want to do up here? Can we even get back up there is the question. Um, we might be able to. And there's a corpse that I need to loot as well. It looks like we can leave down here as well. Okay, uh, 32 athletics, I can get up there. Sure. Sorry, I can't. What? How vexing. Need more subterfuge. What's up the fuse at? Uh, let's bring up this. Where is my subterfuge? 33. Come on, really? Can't do that. Man. That is quite quite annoying, but alright. 
can I move them on the map? Can we get up there? Oh, yes, we can. Uh, both of you, please. Like, right now. Cool. We've got, to, we've got to hunt through everything. That's how these games work. Hello, Doctor, uh, Doctor Black Jacket. How's Tyranny? Amazing so far. The spellcasting looks absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So much so that I really didn't intend to make a mage, but I think I have accidentally made a mage. Oh, hello. Still alive. Told you I would pull through, didn't I? Graven Ash protects. I love the fact that that is still something that... Oh, that's just brilliant. Absolutely marvellous. Dissected corpses line the road of victory to Vendrian's well. An example of the fate that awaits those who visit Kairos' will. Uh, Redstone. Okay. And Potion of Protection. Nice. I want to find out if there's anything down here. It's going to be nothing, isn't it? Oh my lord, why? Oh wait, haha! -ha! Apparently we can go down. Uh, 30 Athletics. Oh, just jump down. No, we'll just go down the level. <laughs> why not when we've got the Athletics for it? Right, look have a proper scout in here. What have we got over here? Abandoned memorial. This memorial has been left to weather the elements for many months and has fallen into disrepair. Resting at the top of the memorial is a small weather-beaten enclosure for, with a rusted torque inside. Take the torque, or examine the torque. You recognize the corroded bronze torque as a relic of Tearsman folklore. Okay. I should have investigated it, I guess. Uh... Oh, yeah. Form. Oh, wow, okay. Yes, I accept. Okay, let's grab the last little bits. Got some cheese by the looks of it, and a bloodstone. I approve. All right, not bad at all. Thank you very much, Thedron, for the subscription there. 14 months in a row, my lord. Oh, that is a good point, actually. Can I... I've got the entire group selected, so I would have assumed that, that um, one of them would have done it if they had the subterfuge. You got 35, okay. Okay, well, we'll slowly increase it. But I believe you want to chat some more. Oh, no, 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 that isn't, that isn't highlighted. Never mind. Right, looks like we are leaving now then. Let's, let's be gone from this place as quick as we can. Uh, Ven, I believe that it will use a different character if they have the skill. Ah, cool. That's good. Oh, apparently no, that is not the case. But it's still 39 and she only has 35, so it wouldn't help me either way. But thank you very much for the info there. Okay, the Vavid Camp. Two hours and 45 minutes. How do you? Maybe two hours and 45 minutes to complete our journey from uh, Edgering Ruins to the Disfavored Camp. Very well. Okay. Hello. Take what you can carry, but leave the card. Otherwise, something or other. Hail, Fate Binder. A disfavored scout nods at your approach. Camps on up ahead. Don't mind us, just clearing out the rabble. Sterling Hargon. Uh, who are you with? Lathian's Crossing. I still don't understand what I've done to offend. I respect that these are now disfavored lands, and I'm happy to give the Legion a proper toll, but she's going on about trading rights. What nonsense is that? I, I am not allowed to trade one thing for another? It's not like I'm selling weapons to angry peasants or anything of the sort. Hmm. The Overlord regulates all trade. If you lack the proper permits, your goods are forfeit. We know that, at least insofar as we've seen papers to that effect. A trade permit? Well, how was I... I mean, to whom would I speak for such a thing? 
Christ, not us, and not our problem. Maybe march your butt to Bassett City and plead your case before Tunon. But we'll lighten your burden and relieve you of your ways first. That should make the long trek a bit more bearable. Hmm. Uh, I mean, do I do I speak with his authority? Um, I mean, I, I would assume I I do because I'm a fit. Yeah, well, yeah, because the fate binders are the judges, juries, and executioners. Yeah, so I would assume that I do. Anything to be argued before Tunon may be argued before me. Oh, they didn't like that. What's there to discuss? We should kill this mongrel and... The warrior pauses, placing her hand in front of her mouth. If the fate binder wishes to weigh on the matter, curtsy demands we listen. The soldier clears her throat, looking at you expectantly. This is a disfavoured matter, but I know the agents of the court do so love to throw their judgments around. Well, you could rob me now and have my supplies today. The merchant grabs a flask from his cut. Or you can leave me alive and have fermented honey all year long. I even know a few... Uh, family recipes for painkillers and healing drafts. Certainly any army will need those. He uncooks a small ceramic vial and the aroma of cloves and lanolin in the salt your nose. These are essential goods to the war effort. We should leave the, su the supply intact. It's up to Fuge. 32. Okay, lie. Curious. I was just hearing about a supply caravan of reagents going missing. What a coincidence. Your family recipe for wound paste smells just like the Scarlet Fury's own concoction. Where do you steal this? Okay, so that's actually kind of cool. Hunter. You take me for a fool. Those reagents are rare around these parts. Are you sure you didn't steal them from Kairos forces? Hmm. That's actually pretty cool. So just based on, on my background. Um, that's actually really cool. Okay. Um, we'll go with law. Because I'd like to build my law up. Ah, oh, though we could go with subterfuge and build that up a little bit. No, we're not going to lie. Um, what a coincidence. Your family recipe for wound paste smells just like the Scarlet Fury's own concoction. Where do you steal this? I don't... The merchant tenses up, his face flushing red. I, I don't know what you're getting at. Okay, to the disfavored. I think this Thiersman needs a little roughing up. You were right. Kill this liar and share this proceeds with the region. Or I can use my own aesthetics. Pick him up by the collar. How stupid do you think I am? You gained 57 aesthetics skill experience. Okay, so it really does pay to use abilities. Slow down, I'll tell you everything. Just don't hurt me. I found most everything out in the forest of the valley. I'd keep my head low when I heard sounds of combat. Then I'd take a look and grab whatever wasn't claimed by the first victors. So, then you stole from the disfavored dead. How else did you get your hands on that iron? The scout points at the merchant's cart. You would come here and sell us our own armaments. If anything has an owner, I will return it, but this iron would have turned to rust if left in the mud of the battlefield. The disfavoured are few in number, is that not right? You need a man like me to gather up supplies that would otherwise go to waste. Hmm. Um... No. He lied. If he'd honestly just straight up said what happened, it would be like, well, actually, yeah, he's kind of got a point. It is kind of a useful service. But he first tried to pull the wool over our eyes, and there has to be a consequence. You stole from the Archons and then wished to sell it back. Your life ends here. No, please, I can explain. No, too late. How do you know a tearsman is lying? His lips are moving. <laughs> oh, Wow. Okay, Crescent Runner, that was a bit full on. The soldier nods to her comrades, and with a quick flash of iron, the merchant is gutted. You gain loyalty with verse. Clean kill. Cleaner than he deserved, anyway. I would have done a better job of it, but I don't begrudge you carrying favour with the ironclads. <laughs> oh, verse. Oh, verse. Uh, look, look, I judge, jury, and execution. That basically makes me a judge, all right? I have no isocubes for him, so capital punishment it has to be. If I had isocubes, then maybe I'd use them, maybe I wouldn't, but I the the choice is already taken away from me, frankly. There was there had to be consequence. 